Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello to you and welcome back to the channel where you join me back at Novatech today and I'm going to be filming something that I think is epically cool. Beside me, the Novatech GTC4 Lusso, the Ferrari V12 with Novatech's parts and the most monumental exhaust system that you could ever imagine. This thing sounds so crazy you wouldn't believe it and I have to be honest, having recently sold my Ferrari FF, I think a GTC4 Lusso might be beckoning in the future and if it did, it might have to be one of these, honestly. So today we'll take a look around it, I'll talk about the modifications and changes made by Novatech, then we'll jump on board to go for a little drive to see and hear more of that sound. I'm looking forward to this one, let's check it out. Before we completely make your ears bleed, and believe me, you're gonna to wanna to stay tuned to hear the sound of this when we start it up, let's take a walk around and talk about the changes and modifications to the car by Novatech that are different from a standard V12 version of the GTC4 Lusso. And of course, you can have the car from Ferrari with the V12 as fitted to this car, or with the V8 should you prefer. A slightly different setup, different potential customer audiences, but this is all about the changes. And we really get started down here with the carbon fiber aero kits, with the extended front split so new carbon fiber parts that extend out towards the front and around the sides a little bit more aggression to the front beneath the grille that continues with the side skirt that runs the full length of the door and side of the car with an additional styling cue here on the back edge of each door three door hatch naturally a platform that we know and we love right here on the channel the door mirrors finished with a carbon fiber trim piece here too and although it's quite subtle against the dark flat gray of this car imagine if you had one in pearlescent yellow or red or a bright color for example where the carbon really sets off nicely against that if we come round to the rear to continue the package we have the three-part boot lid spoiler that runs the full width you can see across here above the tail lights the quad tail lights being new on the gtc4 lusso and also a part up here on the top of the window that completes the top spoiler that is a standard component on the car. Coming down towards the back though, down here you can see carbon fiber parts installed under the diffuser. Quite an aggressive diffuser for such a car from standard, but also those tailpipes. Quad pipes with new tail finishers, and that sound with the cross pipe system that's installed is beyond epic. It is, it's absolutely crazy. I know I'm hyping it up a lot. You're going to have to wait and hear what it sounds like shortly. So also the car is sitting on sport springs, so it's sitting a little lower than standard. And of course it is on new wheels. So let's talk about these just for a moment. 22 inch wheel at the rear, 21 inch wheel at the front, but they're a three part forged wheel and they have this carbon fiber rim finisher running all the way around, which I think works very, very nicely. And they're also on Pirelli's P0 tires that now have the colored stripe around them, which is quite nice as well. So five twin spoke design, sits very aggressive in the arches of this car. And really, I suppose, makes a GTC4 Lusso more aggressive, more unique, and adds a nice touch to it that I'm personally really rather interested in. I mean, I loved my Ferrari FF. It was an elegant factory specification with the dark blue and cream interior, but I think there's something about the bad boy approach, which is a bit more what this is that really sets the car off. And you could also have, for example, these parts in carbon fiber if you wish, these side blade panels, which I think would be a top uh, priority for me, but this one is definitely looking very nice. This has really become a very popular color at the moment, which is quite interesting. So, GTC4 Lusso, we've seen the car, we've walked around it. Do you think it's time to hear it? Are you ready for the noise of this? Should we go grab the key and start it up? I think it's time. trickery is going on in there, under there, obviously engine up front, but <laughs> it's just silly. Anyway, I think we should jump in. We can just go for a little drive in the local area and um, yeah, experience what it's like inside with the V12. And obviously my FF has always sounded amazing with a stock exhaust. 
So take the stock and go up to, well, dial it to 11. They've dialed it to 11, literally. Let's find out. Time to get in. So I am uh, anxious but excited to hear what this is going to be like in this car. Oh, the passenger display. That is a very, very nice touch that you have in the modern Ferraris. In the GTC Forlisso, you get this wonderful big screen which shows you all sorts of information like the rev counter up to eight and a bit thousand uh, speedometer and then you can go through, well you can turn it off or you can go through a couple of different menus and even choose the music and that kind of stuff. So VDA, what driving setting you've got it in. Awesome times. Well, this is uh, looking good. Manatino in sport, naturally. <laughs> off we go. I am uh, ready, anx anxious, a little bit of anxiety. Let's uh, see what this is like. And by the way, plenty of other very nice cars here. Videos to watch as well, if you're interested. Even just moving gently, that noise of what must only be a couple of thousand RPM. Woohoo! This is really nice having this information right in front of us. Oh, those bubbles! That sound! Epic, epic, epic! Let's put it in VDA yeah, in sport mode. just driving gently and slowly and that's with the windows completely closed. This is ridiculous and I know that we've got a little tunnel in front of us in not too long so stay tuned for this. Just in a short little bit of tunnel I am preparing to hold my ears and wait and see what happens because I think it's going to be something crazy. Okay. <laughs> Literally, what is that sound? My goodness, the countryside here has never uh, heard such a thing anywhere near it. <laughs> kind of exhaust sound, a true almost F1 V12 sound. I remember being completely mesmerized by it at the time, completely taken in by the spine tingling feel. You literally feel it reverberate around inside you. And this is reminding me very much of that. This is, for, for engine sounds, this high revving, naturally aspirated V12 noise is something that we might not have forever, but while we do have it, it needs to be allowed to sing and scream in the way that this car does, because it's it's a symphony. It is the best. And one thing to remember is that this is actually a switchable exhaust system, so you don't have to have it in the pure loud noisy mode that we've been driving it in. Although, I don't think I would want it any other way because this is pure perfection. What we need to do though, is park it up here and hear it from the outside. It's time. Let's open the door and jump out. And believe it or not, this car has a sound system. Why you'd bother? I don't really know because it basically has the best one in the world at the back. So we're going to hear this in loud and then in quiet. And I'm not going to stand too close because otherwise my ears are going to get blown off. But let's. Whoa. Okay, that's pretty heavenly. Um, Maybe we should hear it with the exhaust valve. Yep, there we go, the exhaust valve closed as well. Just if you want to know what it's like in quiet mode. Yep. Valve controlled, less obtrusive, not going to annoy your neighbours too much in that mode. But I think we should go back into noisy. Yep. <laughs> and hear this. 
<laughs> it's it's like the noise through the ears, just pure volume. Should we hear some more? Let's hear some more. <laughs> Oh my days, that sound, absolutely, you can't get better. The question this leaves me with though, is why did I sell my Ferrari with a V12? I need another one of these in my life, whether it's a Lusso or maybe an 812 Superfast. At some point in the future, when prices have come down a little bit, I think it has to be done because if we come through here and just pop open the engine bay, which is in the center in a Ferrari, it is this, thing in here, the power plant, and that's the Novatec 570 Spider, by the way. This power plant in here, he says, where's the engine catch? This is the awkward moment when I can't find it. Ah, oh, it's here somewhere. There we go, got it. That is why you do this. That is all 6.3 liters of naturally aspirated V12 heaven. The standard car, 690 horsepower. This car, 709 horsepower. It's absolutely crazy. Over 700 horsepower in a luxurious, comfortable four seat, almost family car. You know, you have luggage space in the back. You have a boot, oh, door springing back on me there. You've got decent, comfortable back seats with space that's actually usable. You can have seat entertainment if you wish in the back of the headrests. It's comfortable. It's for a hatch, not that hard to get in and out of. It's not awkward to do so. And if we come around to the boot, there is a button, he says, under here for the power fold tailgate, which opens up. Quite interesting to watch that happening with the three parts of the carbon fiber there. And then in the back, you've got a decent amount of space and you can fold down the center section, all the seats and make it even larger. So that all works very nice. And the way Ferrari's doing now with the plaque in the boot, um, the front boot, of course, if it's a, a rear engine car, mid engine car, but that is nice as well. So what an epic experience. What an incredible sound. What an amazing engine. Long live it. 4RM, the four wheel drive system that this car has. It will be a sad world if we should ever not have engines like that to enjoy. But while we do have them, I think Novatech is needed to do the honours. So guys, tell me, if I got a GTC for Lusso, and I think I know what you're going to say, should I do this to it? But, I mean, it's a foregone conclusion really, isn't it? Anyway, I'm going to wrap that one up from there. For there, a big thanks to Novatech for letting me film this car and go out for a ride in it, because that has been a true, well, eargasm, to be honest. It's been absolutely amazing on the ears. I hope that's transferred across in the video. And I hope you've enjoyed watching it, hearing it, and seeing their package for the GTC Faller. So anyway, I'll wrap this one up. Thank you very much as always, guys, and I'll catch up with you again very soon. Cheers.